Hi, it's Mike, WB4HUC, and I thought today I would just uh, show my QRP station. This is the gear I take with me if my wife and I go out. Uh, sometimes we'll go to a local park or somewhere and uh, I'll just operate picnic table portable using my buddy pole antenna, the FT817, microphone, code key, whatever else I may need, a battery. And uh, haven't done that in a while. Temperatures here in Central Texas are getting up to be well over 100 degrees, anywhere from 101 to 105, 106 degrees during the day. So I look outside, I don't see any of my neighbors doing anything outside, so nobody's doing anything outside much around here these days. So I set the station up here inside the house and I'm using the uh, station antenna is connected to it right now which is a ZS6BKW uh, multiband wire antenna. And uh, in about an hour, less than an hour, I believe the CW Ops mini contest starts. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, operate in that contest using the FT817. I do have the CW filter in the FT817. And so we'll, we'll see how we do. I'm not looking to break any records, but if I can make 10, 15, 20 contacts during the hour that the contest is uh, on, I'll be happy. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So uh, the gear that you're looking at uh, on the left is a BioNO 12 amp hour, 12 volt battery plugged into a power pole distribution uh, box. And then that sort of silver Thing you see sitting in between the power distribution box and the radio is a gadget. I think I bought it off eBay, but it'll reduce the 12 or 13 volts from your power source down to nine volts. This one's a little bit less, says 8.7 volts, but it turns out the radio will put out the full five watts, even at uh, this voltage. So the reason I use it is the radio runs a little bit cooler from uh, nine volts than it does 12 or 13. And it draws a little bit less current uh, at nine volts than it does at 12 or 13 volts. And then sitting on top of the radio is a Z11 automatic tuner. It's uh, a 30 watt tuner, but I've never put more than five or six watts through it. Um, and it is an automatic tuner and it will tune uh, the ZS6B KW antenna of course, that's, yeah, it doesn't really tune the antenna, but it makes the radio see the antenna, uh, you know, as a, as a matched uh, load. And on, uh, for instance, 30 meters, the SWR is pretty high uh, without the tuner. It's uh, 6 to 1, 7 to 1, something like that. But this tuner will uh, make the adjustments just fine, even on bands where the SWR is very high. So uh, it works. Now we're on 40 meters now, and I don't really need the tuner for 40 meters, but it does uh, lower the SWR a tad, and uh, I get, you know, a little bit more power out of the radio that way. And then uh, plugged into the back of the radio is something I got from W4RT back when they were in business. They were in Huntsville, Alabama which coincidentally is my hometown. But anyway, I bought something from them years ago called a one touch tune. So it plugs into the back of the radio and then there's a wire on the back of this Z11 tuner that will plug into the one touch tune. So whenever I need to use the tuner, I don't have to key the radio and then separately make, uh, you know, activate the tuner. I can just, and, and I'm using a crappy cell phone here. So forgive the, uh, 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 less than uh, perfect uh, video here and it's uh, autofocus so I hope it doesn't uh, get too out of whack but if I push the tune button you can see the tuner activated the radio went into transmit mode made the tuning adjustments and then uh, and then quit so that's all through the one touch tune so I don't have to do anything except push the tune button on the tuner uh-oh, sorry about that. I bumped the phone. It's hard not to bump the phone. Um, and the uh, you can see the watt meter, the uh, 
O O H R uh, watt meters, the WM2, and I've had both the tuner and the watt meter for uh, 20 years, maybe more. But on 40 meters, you can see the radio puts out uh, between four and five watts. And then uh, if we go to 30 meters, And then again, if I initiate a tune cycle just by pushing the tune button on the tuner. So you can see it did do the job. And we're getting over four watts out. And you'll see we only have the one light on the tuner, which says less than 1.5 to 1 SWR. And if we go here, no, if we go here, and I change the meter to SWR, and even the radio shows really no, you know, one little indicator of SWR. So the radio sees a pretty good match through this tuner to this uh, mismatched antenna on 30 meters. And the uh, watt meter has three scales, 10 watts, one watt, and 100 milliwatts. So if I go to the one watt scale and then bump the power down to half a watt, we should see that in the watt meter. So there you go, four tenths of a watt. So that battery, I don't know when that battery is charged. But uh, we're showing about four tenths of a watt. Let's go to uh, let's try that. Okay, still about four watts. I said four tenths of a watt. What scale are we on? Yeah, so four tenths of a watt. So if I go back to sometimes I forget where I am. If we go back to full power. And we switch our meter. So four watts. So that's what I'll be using today in the contest. And then uh, to the right of the radio, you can't see the whole thing, but there's a small external speaker there. The radio sounds a lot better on this external speaker than it does uh, through the internal speaker of the radio. And then the uh, CW paddle that I use with this radio is this uh, CW Morse. 3D printed paddle and it came on this heavy base. So this is a nice paddle. You can go to cwmorse.us and look at their prices and selections that they have. Uh, but I like this paddle a lot and you can see there's a place, there's an Allen wrench that they provide for making adjustments and there's a place in the paddle to store the Allen wrench. So I like this paddle a lot. So that's about it. Um, I just wanted to sort of show the QRP station. I'll be using it in just a little while in the contest. We'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching.